How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and today will be the last day I'll be editing my videos. The normal routine will continue tomorrow. I'll have my face cam back. My editor will be taking over and I'll be able to get you some better content. Hopefully tonight I'm going racing. I don't know if I'm going to take the McLaren or the Mustang. So you guys comment down below what you guys would prefer to see. Mustang go smoke people or McLaren go smoke people. I kind of want to take the McLaren, but let me know. Today though, I just want to sit back, relax and look at some builds. Um, I, I want to see what people are spending their money on. Hopefully it's cool shit. Hopefully it's not lame racer shit but today we're gonna go ahead and see what you guys got and what you guys sent me if you guys want me to look at more subscriber builds go ahead and hit that thumbs up let's get this video to 7,000 likes and i'll do another one go ahead and also submit your car to my gmail drewpeacock.clips at gmail.com and let's go ahead and dive right in first car is a lancer rally art turbo 2.4 liter and he says he's pushing 16 psi through the block my old co-worker had one of these actually and i've never been in it but he had one so that's just a little fact that i know the subscriber says this one is making 363 horsepower which i'm sure is a hell of a lot of fun i mean this thing probably upsets a lot of v8 owners out there people roll off the lot and their brand new scat packs not knowing what they're going up against they see this little old ass car you're gonna embarrass him next subscriber car is a g35 and the owner says he's dumped over twenty thousand dollars into this car and let's see if i think it's worth that first thing i'm noticing is a headlight gap right here uh, i don't like that there's also a big hood gap and bumper gap uh, that, that grill does not fit and don't even get me started about wheel gap now no i'm joking i mean the car's not bad he's got some six speed seats underneath the hood it looks like he's got a centrifugal supercharger which is cool his rear end, it looks like it's not straight piped. Thank God he's blessing people with not hearing a trumpet at 3 a.m. I like his rear taillights. I like his taillights. They're really nice. This is what he's got. He's got a 2004 Infiniti G35, a Vortex supercharger kit. It's a polished blower. He has a lot more stuff, but I'm not going to read off this whole thing. I like the paint or wrap. I think it's paint because his engine bay matches. And it looks like he takes care of his car. I'm sure he's dumped a lot of money into this thing. And 20 grand is probably about right next car subscriber says this is his sema build first photo looks like something out of pimp my ride second photo though looks like something in my wet dreams he says the carbon is all 100 percent real as i would expect in a sema build it looks like it's on an old s10 which you definitely don't see nowadays <laughs> this has to be one of the cleanest s10s ever he combined like show car and race car like, I'm just looking at it in awe. Like, I, I'm not even going to lie. I took, like, a 10-second break there from talking just to, like, take it all in. Like, the paint is beautiful. The wheels are beautiful. Everything about this car, beautiful. He says it makes 1,000 rear wheel horsepower. I mean, I don't doubt it after looking at this. The only thing, the only complaint I have is I don't like the interior too much, but <laughs> the rest of the car, I like. He says he also got top four at SEMA 2021. That's pretty impressive. Next car. It looks like a Sylvia with that fucking ugly ass front end that everyone seems to put on. Th that front end does not look good. You look at that rear end. Nice, round, curvy. It looks like a 90s car. That front end <laughs> does not look like a 90s car at all. The rear of this car and like this, this angle, this shot in particular, this is like sex captured on camera. But that front end is just like someone whacked it with a fucking baseball bat. I just do not like that front end. I, I, I guess some people do. Let me know. Are you one of the people that like this front end in the comments? I'm not. Um, the rest of the car isn't bad. He's on some Cosmos racing wheels. Um, I mean, it looks like he's hit like a fucking deer with this front end because this shit's cracked. That's more like a raccoon. But still, I mean, that rear end is just, it, that's beautiful. Love it. 100%. No complaints about the rear. Front, yeah, I got a few complaints about that. 2013 kia optima sxl i don't know what any of that means it's a two liter turbo and uh you put wheels and lowered it it's actually not that bad like cruising around in this wouldn't be that bad it's it's kind of like how my accord is gonna look although i want it on bags so i could fucking whenever i go to the grocery store um but then, no this is this isn't bad this is pretty cool it looks like he's uh done an intake and a blow off valve next he put a straight pipe on with three inch engine technology exhaust four inch tips he's on 20 inch wheels he lowered it 1.5 inches i mean it's not bad it's a cool little build what color combo is this what is this the like the the nicest blue that mazda's ever come out with and then fucking mint green teal wheels i i, I bet they're jnc's too i'm gonna go ahead and say that they're jnc's they might not be jnc's but who knows oh no and it's, it, god pick your lesser of the two evils you got the worst fitment in this photo and the ugliest wheels in this one what the fuck is going on buddy needs to get his wheel game in check oh and it's an automatic uh, that, that didn't make it any better why you got a helmet on it 
You're at a parking structure, not at the track. <laughs> what are you doing? This is just like the worst concoction of photos I've ever seen. Sorry, man. Like your Miata is probably not that bad with like the right set of wheels. But with these, absolutely disgusting. With these, even more absolutely disgusting. It's just, ugh, it's, it's, it's not looking good. I'll take the dog. Oh, God. Which one do I got to rate? Please tell me it's the one on the left. Fuck! To 1995 Pontiac Grand Prix SE. And it looks like it's got a mustache. Like, that That literally looks like the Pringles guy. I, I, I don't know about that one, Chief. It literally looks like eyes, mustache, mouth, some fucking dimples. Like, what is this car? Summit Racing, get that shit off there. No offense to you, but have you bought anything from Summit Racing? Oh, it's got a racing stripe on it now. Shit, I spoke too soon. It's a unique car. You don't see many on the road today, which I will give him props. I don't think I've ever seen one in real life. Uh, so go ahead, you know, you, you, you can own that, but there might be a good reason for that. Maybe no one likes them. So, you know, you, you, you don't see many like, you know, never mind. I was going to say something really bad. Taking that back. I mean, anyways, yeah, it's a 95 Pontiac Grand Prix. Like I said, I've never seen one, but, um, probably for good reason. The GTO in the background though, that's fucking sick. 2011 BMW 335i. He said it's on stock wheels and suspension. Uh, looks like aftermarket headlights. So go figure. We got uh, the little M. We got the little M grill wannabe lookalike. Is that it? Did you did you provide three shitty photos and that's it? It looks like some sort of aftermarket exhaust. Whatever. I mean, these cars don't sound that bad, but they are kind of obnoxious when you straight pipe them. ECS tuning sticker. I just I wonder how much power this thing's making. I mean, the, the Amazon Vortex generators. That's really intriguing. And I had to have added like 50 plus horsepower to the wheels. Same with the angry red headlights. That's another 15 right there all day. When you change them to blue though. It just helps his car run cooler. He says it makes about 460 wheel horsepower on an E-Blend. Oh, well, look at this. The little CRX gang. I love the CRX. I was looking at one before I got my Civic. Uh, I just don't think a K20 would have fit. I think I know they're a little smaller. It would have been a lot more cramped, I should say, where the, the EG will, will drop right in. Little single cam D-Series action. Looks like a turbo on it as well. Uh, they're really small cars, and they're really, like, I just love how they look. Like, I think all-time favorite honda would have to go to the crx i think that that is my favorite honda i i personally love them like they just look at that rear end it's just timeless oh my god i kind of want one now fuck look at the interior too it's just mint <laughs> i want to buy one oh, i can't i can't i have too many cars already no more no more but i like this car very nice uh d series with a single turbo it'll make it'll make plenty of power you know more than you probably need so Take care of it, because I know that they are kind of fragile. All right, not one of your cars, but uh, let this be a lesson to you ricers out there. We're watching you, okay? We will find you in the Walmart parking lot, and we will expose you. Oh, my God. What in the hell is this? The Punisher? The Punisher would not drive around a Chrysler 300 fake SRT8 Hemi. He would not. I'm just saying. Punisher is a cool character, though. If you haven't seen that Netflix series, go watch it. Oh, my God. The Demon Badge. What in the fuck? God, he's, he's got the 300 Hemi C with the little, like, wasp stinger. Like, what the fuck? Oh, but good thing he's got the carbon fiber rear trunk lip mounted to his hood. Fucking genius. How many vents is too many vents? <laughs> he bought out all of the Amazon stock. What even is this? What even is this down here? What the fuck? Fuck, man. People are crazy. Cool. Damn, dude. He's got so many of these carbon limps all over the car. Look at that shit. Dude, he just slapped them on every fucking angle he could. God, respect for this guy, man. All right, we'll do a couple more. This one what is this? A little Toyota. A little old Toyota action. A little, little, uh, old, this is Ultimate Sleep. A little Crescenta. A little, little, little old Toyota action. Oh, oh, hello there. Hello there, beautiful. Let me give you a kiss. No wing. Okay. I, I didn't know you had one at one point, but yeah, much better with no way. Oh my God. Back to you, baby. Oh, give me seconds. So he says it's a 800 plus horsepower 2JZ with a Gen 2 PT6875 turbo. And yeah, I would have to uh, agree with his statement. This is the ultimate sleeper. One more kiss before I leave. All right, we'll do a couple more. We got a 2016 Veloster and this guy fucking ruined it. I don't know if he ruined it. Matt Blue Rap kind of kind of dated now but whatever you know it's not the worst thing ever it's not pink 
Um, it looks like it's the rally edition, he says. His mods include KN cold air intake, sick plus five horsepower, and an MBRP catback exhaust. Fuck yeah, let her breathe, brother. Let her breathe. And that's it. That's all he did. He did at least he didn't list like fucking mud flaps and shit as a, as a mod or a, a different grill. Thank God he didn't do that. So more respect to you actually on your short list. I could see you're wrapped. You don't have to tell me. Oh, hell yeah. Since I'm becoming a stance boy, I got to look at all these stance boys. Why would you even drive this up to the canyon? It had to be the most boring drive ever. No offense, but you're in like, what is this? This is like the new Corolla, right? If I'm correct, you're in like the new Corolla. You got like the fucking slammed look. You know, you got the little annoying exhaust probably. And you, and you took this up into a canyon. I mean, fuck it. You know, you can do whatever you want with your car. I, I will say your car doesn't look half bad, but I just, I mean, just, just go park in a parking lot. You know, you get the same enjoyment. What'd you hit? What'd you hit down here? It's fucked up. I see it. No amount of editing will save that. You're not Kim Kardashian. All right, last car. We got a 2019 Mustang GT. Love these cars. Love them, man. They just eat. You get the A10, bro. They just eat, eat, eat. Hellcats all day. No Hellcat out there can beat one. Never, ever. Never seen it in my life. Never. He says he has a Flowmaster catback, RTR rims, vents, grill, and front lip with a Roush intake. It's tuned on 93 and it makes 467 wheel horsepower. If this thing is fucking an A10, it'll destroy all Mopar. No one will stop him. Throw some E85 at this bad boy. What are you doing? What are you doing on the slow man juice? 93. What the fuck is that? Get out of here. All right. Well, there are some pretty good builds in this episode. I do appreciate you guys for sending your car. If you guys want to see me do another one of these, go ahead and hit that like button and then submit your car to my Gmail, drewpeacock.clips at gmail.com. Like I said, we will go back to the normal program tomorrow with face cam and everything. So, yeah. Anyways, subscribe to see more videos like this one. Hit that notification bell so you can flock to the videos with everyone else. And until next video, peace.